Oh, finally, right? Finally. You're looking at the situation where what do you get from this? What are they putting in the table? How it's manifesting in your life? Is it an equal partnership? Is it just you who's putting the effort? Always. Everything right now is in a microscope for you. Hmm. Well, they're in the microscope. You own the microscope. You're about to make a decision in this relationship. But it seems like someone wants you to reconsider. It can be an air sign that you're dealing with. They feel that they're at the last draw also. Like, you're too tough to deal with. Not complicated, but tough. Like, you have a level of expectation because you only expect what you also give. So you want reciprocity. Your first card is the strongest, which is right here. This is the justice card. So if you see closely, there's a scale. The scale is a merchant scale. And like when you buy something, you get something back, right? So if you're in a relationship, this is Venus. This is Libra. You're trying to look at the relationship where it's like, okay, so I put this, I give this. What about you? What do you bring? Mm -hmm. So, Scorpios, let's begin. I'll make an extended reading for this also. And then, of course, the eclipse countdown is on. Please do remember that it doesn't mean the eclipse is in the 24, that the eclipse is just going to manifest during that day. It's already in full effect by now, meaning you're already experiencing changes in your life. That is not going to be in your control. Not at all. So, and it's happening in your relationship, by the way. It's in your fifth house. So whoever you are connected romantically, um, this is the time where it's going to be settled. Either yes or no, basically. That's why you have a justice card. The eclipse happens also in your fifth house of dating and romance. So when the transit comes there, or as we go towards it even more further, it will be settled. Now, for people, they like the absolute. Tell me the date, tell me the specific. That's, that doesn't work. I mean, I don't know your dasha, your anter dasha even. So it's just a gochara, it's just transit. It's, um, it's an effect all throughout, of course. Uh, it doesn't manifest only the day off. We're already in it. And the three months, four months prior, uh, after it also. So, like you'll be looking at your phone, you'll be thinking about them, you'll be wondering if it, you're still happy with this situation. Mm -hmm. The moon is in Scorpio today. It is in 20 degrees. It is debilitation. It's in a debilitation sign. So some people, who probably right now, will have a lot of confusion. You get a seven of cups right here. Mm hmm Seven of Cups is you have been um, trying to put the T's together. So, because this is illusion for you, Rahu in the fifth gives you an illusionary kind of um, whoever you're dating. Like, you are with them, but it's not real, not unless the person validates that it is real. The Seven of Cups here showing the lies, the deceit. So, when you look at it closely every time, it doesn't make sense. All their actions does not make sense. There is no proof in the pudding. The Seven of Cups shows the part where you are overwhelmed as well. You haven't been sleeping well. Um, you know, of course, like because you're bothered about who you're dating with. But not like in an unhealthy, not sleeping well. It's more of like just trying to understand really. Okay? You're not anxious. You're not depressed. Not like that. Like not over, not overthinking. Analyzing is what you're doing because your first card is strong. This is just this card. And you are coming in as an empress. Do remember that you are a Taurus when it comes to relationship. And that's why you have the possessiveness. What's mine is mine. You're not a Scorpio in the relationship. The nature of your seventh house would be Taurinian. Uh, Taurinian is to hold, to have. You probably like to have good food, you know, going out to restaurants with your person. That's Taurinian, not a Scorpio. A Scorpio would like to just be on their own, hiding under their bed. Not that you hide under your bed, just being at the house. So you're very romantic when it comes to relationship. It shows the empress right here. Mm -hmm. I can give you a lot of information on how your romantic connection. Yeah. The empress, uh, so make sure you download our app. It's available Apple and Android there. It's free. Empress and the lovers here, uh, the, the Libra card, which is the justice, uh, you're about giving, reciprocity, balance, and you want structure. That's again, a Turinian in the seventh house. 
So forget that you're a Scorpio for now. Just forget it. Just totally don't think that you are a Scorpio. Your kind of relationship is earthy. You probably also connect with them, especially if they have material gains. Like you have a certain way of choosing a partner where they have to have some sort of material. Or they just like that, you know, level of richness, let's just say that. Now, they're very gorgeous at the same time. Your 7th house is ruled by Venus. So your taste in masculine or feminine, whatever you want to call it, um, they have to have really, really good looks. Okay. Now, at the same time, you find that relationship for you okay, has to be some sort of like, you know, like, I want it now, I want it now. That's the bull in the 7th house. So you're slow, yes, because you're the scorpion, but once you like someone, you go get them, right? Empress right here. So you like this person. But, of course, there is resistance now. You have a nine of wands. Mm -hmm. Your person, okay, resists you. And that's the opposing house. Anybody you date, anybody you're married to, there will be the opposition. The opposition brings balance to your life. They don't just agree. They will be the one to recheck what is going on. So the check and balance is here now. You're giving and giving and giving. You're telling them, it's like, how much? You know, like, you know, like, how much am I putting effort? Your person is refusing to acknowledge that you're the one who's just putting effort. Strength card. The Leo. In your career right now, there's a lot of things that is changing. Especially the income that you are. Uh, it can be like, you're getting the money but it's out also. Okay, because it's strength card. Remember, your 10th house is Leo. So think of it, when you are in your career mode, you're a Leo, not a Scorpio. You're going to be famous. You are very much well suited for the limelight. Very much, if your sun is good, meaning the sun placement. Sun placement is good in the 10th, of course, if you have a sun in Leo, Scorpio Ascendant, or if you have a sun in the first house, a wonderful placement also for the sun. So this is fame and success. The strength with the Eight of Swords, though, you have been struggling right now to open up to people about your struggles with regards to relationship. Because you are battling your work and your career, so you're juggling all these things right now, your business at the same time, and your person is not really helping you out. Some crystals just don't work with your sign. If you're tired that your crystals are not working the way that you would like to, well, I'm a crystal expert and I made specific double Piao crystal bracelet just for your sign. Get yours right now at eTreatLove.me. The strength and the nine of wands, right? So you're battling it out. And you're probably always wondering, like, Sal, what is good? How do I make, you know, uh, how do I make my life like, Align basically with your dreams with you're just trying to make it right justice card. I see that here, of course So you're trying your best there. Okay Magician, but they're asking you to manifest right now So when I made your Piao, I specifically chose a crystal that would be connected to your seventh house Which is of course rose quartz and also foreign travel if you're doing traveling a lot or business-wise foreign land then this rose quartz is going to be good for you. It's a double Piao. It's available now. And this is the last day that would be on pre-sale. And at the same time, you get my favorite for the eclipse. This is what I'm giving out. Is a citrine and obsidian. It comes free. Okay. It's a single Piao right here. Make sure you wear this as soon as you get it in the mail. Okay. Not on the 24th. Not on the 23rd. You get it. You wear it. Okay. The whole class is in the description how to use it. It is free shipping in the U.S. And of course, we ship to more than 80 countries across the globe. And since this is my favorite, uh, you know, tool for manifesting, I put citrine <laughs> together with the rose quartz. Okay. So we sporting rose quartz today. Magician, you're manifesting, right? So you can will. You are the natural mystic in the, uh, you know, in the science, in the occult. You're the eighth house. So you probably have always been in tune um, with the universe, meaning it's like you think of something and manifest. You know, you speak things to existence. You're a magical being with the magician in the strength card. But your person, totally different. Totally, totally different. They probably don't believe whatever you say to them. Mm -mm. Let me see. You have a Knight of Pentacles here and the Ace of Swords. So now I feel like there will be communication. That's the Ace of Swords with the Knight of Pentacles. So this is the communication. Let's see. So your person now will express themselves to you. Okay, let's see this. So there is truth. We love that. Now they have been on the defense. Okay, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Ooh, there's 
a truth that they will admit, but it is a choice that they have to make. And I feel like they're divided because they're, you know, if you have a hunch right here with the seven of cups that there is someone else, if you see that, well, they have a lover's card. So this is the lover's seven of cups. And if you're asking for the truth, if they have someone else, well, we will dive deeper into that because that comes the Gemini card right there. It can be a younger person that you're dealing with. They would, I feel like they would start, ooh, okay. They would start to communicate. And then some of you guys, they ask for time also. Ooh, well, they there will be something big time changing that you probably will never expect as the months progress this March. And I need you to be ready. There's a tower coming, just like you're reading as always. To find out more about this reading, link in the comments in the description box below for the extended reading. Uh, make sure to get your, of course, your double PL before the eclipse. And today's the last day to get it. I'll see you guys again.